Hello friends, welcome to Trend Tech Guide. Today I'll show you how to use a snipping tool in Windows 10. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. So let's start. First of all, you can see I'm here in my Windows. The snipping tool is a small tool which is very useful in Windows 10. It is used to take a screenshot of a Windows whole or a small part of Windows. Now to start it, first of all go to start and type snipping and you can find here a snipping tool. Click on this and you can find a small pop-up windows of snipping tool over here and you can see here are bunch of options over here. Now over here on the new, if we click on this new, we can take a new screenshot and over here on more, you can find bunch of options over here. Here on the top, you'll find this free from snip. That means if you click on this, you can simply draw a free shape you want on your windows. You can see this is a free shape. Now I'll go to new and again on more, you can find rectangular snip. That means if you choose this and go to new, you can just take rectangular screenshot just like this. Now again I'll go to new, if I change this mode to window snip, it will take the snipping of all windows, just like windows plus print screen on a desktop. If I click here, you can see it takes snipping of all windows. You can find this is the full screen screenshot. I'll again click on new and over here I'll select full screen snip and you can see it has taken full screen screenshot. Now the difference between this windows snip and full screen snip is that if I open anything, I'll open this file explorer and over here you can see here is my file explorer. Now I'll go to new and if I open this windows snip and click on this specific windows of a particular program, it will take the part of this program only. But in case of this full screen snip, it will take a screenshot of full whole screen. You can find it over here. Now, as we know the mode, let's go to other features. Here is delay. That means we can delay our screenshot by few seconds. From 1 second to 5 seconds. Also, we can instantly take this by just clicking on this no delay. By default, it is to no delay. Now, it is cancel. This cancel means the snipping will be cancelled. There is other options as well. And on this options, you will find here selection color. You can find bunch of color over here. Black, green, red, yellow, anything you like. But for me, red is okay. And also, you can find bunch of options over here. Hide instruction, copy to clipboard, include URL, and also different options. Now, I'll let it be like this and click OK. And now, as I have explained everything over here, now I'll go to this rectangle snip and take one snipping over here. I'll take this. As soon as you take this screenshot, you can find various options over here. Here you can see here is save options. That means if we click on this, we can save this snipping to our desired folder. Now, if I want to save on desktop, we can just give our name. I'll give this test snipping. We can choose the file type. You can see here are bunch of options. I'll go to this JPC only and just click on save. And you can see here is our snipping. Now, also here are different other options. Here you can find copy. After we copy this, we can paste this on different apps like Photoshop, Canva and many others. Also here is mailing options. If you set your email, you can simply click on this, save your snipping as an email. Also here is pen tool. If you click on this, you can choose to write on your image where you want. Also here is option of highlighter. You can highlight your assignments, text as you want. Also, here is option of eraser. You can just erase what you have written or you have highlighted. And now, this is all about snipping tool. I hope I have explained this snipping tool properly. Hope you can use this efficiently. So, if you find this helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a good time.